Live. Wall Street Journal editorial board member Matt Kaminsky joins me now to talk about America's most cantankerous ally, uh, Pakistan. Welcome, Matt. Good to be here. Uh, so Pakistan uh, opened up NATO supply routes to Afghanistan in recent days, right after Hillary Clinton finally came out uh, with an apology. Uh, the U.S. Uh, uh, killed several Pakistani soldiers in an errant uh, bombing. I is this a diplomatic victory for Islamabad that they got this apology? They got sort of an apology. They got a statement with the word sorry, um, sorry about the incident in general. And then there's a funny kind of uh, dispute afterwards whether they, we actually apologized or not. Uh, the opposition in Pakistan said they didn't get the full apology they wanted. Um, it is a half victory for both sides. I think um, it's unfortunate uh, that it's unfortunate, I think, that we had to even put the statement out that we did because the U.S. didn't do anything wrong. The Pakistanis uh, tried to exploit an unfortunate border skirmish in November, made a huge political deal out of it domestically, um, and it meant that this main supply route into Afghanistan was closed. It's open now. That's not a bad thing but all the other problems in the relationship remain as bad as it was. Yeah, well, I'm glad you raised that, Matt, because the Pakistanis did make a very big deal about this at home. What does that tell you uh, about the domestic politics at play here and the rising anti-American sentiment within Pakistan? Should we worry about that? Oh, we certainly should. I mean, basically what's happened in the last year and a half is that um, a very difficult relationship has gotten only worse. Obviously, you had uh, the killing of, of bin Laden, which um, embarrassed the military and, and, and infuriated the government. It's not clear why, since in theory they're supposed to be looking for him, too. Uh, there was an incident with a CIA agent who uh, killed two Pakistanis in, in Lahore. Um, what it tells you is that, you know, you don't have a partner in Islamabad who is willing to talk to you, who is really willing to work with you openly and honestly about trying to stabilize Afghanistan, trying to root out these terrorist groups in the Pakistani border regions. And the fact of the matter is that's not a real border between Afghanistan and Pakistan, that Pakistan is the main sanctuary for the Taliban. It's also the main sanctuary for global terror. Uh, Yemen is now competing for that slot, but Pakistan is still the main place that these guys go. Um, and just because you have a deal on, on transit does not mean you're anywhere close to having any sort of understanding with Pakistan on what to do in Afghanistan and with terrorists. Well, there is one piece of leverage in South Asia, and that's, of course, India, mm -hmm. uh, the world's most populous democracy, uh, started to open up to us uh, during the Clinton and, and especially the George W. Bush administration. Sure. Uh, Secretary of Defense Panetta did make some uh, outreaches to, to India. Did that help us get a deal with Pakistan? How did you how did you see that play by the Obama administration? I think that actually was a, a, a sound way of doing it. I think Pakistan Pakistan's uh, ruling military, and they actually rule the country, they're convinced that we, the U.S., need Pakistan more than Pakistan needs us. I think by Panetta, by, by sort of going to Delhi as often as he has, uh, is, is a reminder to them, hopefully, that the U.S. has other options in the region, and the U.S. has more friends than Pakistan does. Pakistan is on the verge of a, a kind of a, a rogue nation, uh, a, a becoming a rogue nation. And, you know, the military, because they're Again, they were humiliated when the thing with bin Laden happened. They, I think, misunderstood the feeling in America that how, one, how important Pakistan is to us, and two, that people are more and more willing to say, look, we might have to just divorce with this country because they're so difficult. There's all this talk on Capitol Hill about cutting aid. So I think maybe that helped um, uh, sober up and, and it was, was a bit of a reality check for the Pakistani leadership. And Matt, you raise another very interesting point, which is that sentiment here in the United States seems to be changing towards Pakistan. Yeah. Is it reasonable, though, for us to cut all ties with that nation, uh, given their nuclear capability, uh, given the terrorist cells that they are harboring there? Uh, how much do we really need their help? How far can we push them? Well, I think it'd be very dangerous to cut off all ties, and I think we have to work with the Pakistanis, um, all the all the warts uh, in included. But I think there must come a point where we can we have to tell the Pakistanis, look, there's if you behave in this way, we will cut off aid, we will block aid for for a short time. And this was actually one of the pieces in this deal that we've been holding up uh, about a billion, uh, 1.2 billion dollars in coalitions of something called the coalition support funds for Pakistan, which they really want. That's money that we give the Pakistanis to help police the border with Afghanistan. Um, so that was hopefully a kind of a, a pressure point that was used well. In general, 
uh, Robert Gates, the former Secretary of State, um, Secretary of Defense, had a good line about this. Says, you know, this is a troubled marriage, but you have to work at it. And I think that probably still holds true. We have to work at it, but there are limits to America's patience. Um, and and uh, you know, Pakistan, that's a message that we we should make clear to Pakistan as well. Uh, Matt, we've got less than 30 seconds left. Uh, I wanted to ask you about Governor Romney. Uh, has he made any statements about how he would deal with Pakistan were he elected president, or do you sort of see him continuing the same path as President Obama has? President Obama has been. I mean, he President Obama in his campaign was very tough on Pakistan. Said we should be willing to send American troops into Pakistan, and was even in, criticized by John McCain at the time. I think Governor Romney, um, you know, obviously he's not made a, a big issue at a foreign policy. I think he's probably, he might choose to criticize this latest apology from uh, the administration to a foreign country. Um, but I think, you know, that conflict is going to continue down this very uncertain path. And I'm not sure how much room for maneuver really Romney has to do a change tack with Pakistan. Okay, well, on that downbeat note, Wall Street <laughs> Journal editorial board member Matt Kaminsky, thanks Thank so much for being with us.